So my appointment is closer to like talking and I'm so excited. We're so excited. <laughs> About to leave the house right now and um i just changed paula and i did some makeup um so this morning the preparations i made was that i took some vitamins i had a healthy wrap for breakfast just to you know have some nutrients like I can let in some nutrients inside my body especially because I'm breastfeeding although I usually eat that kind of breakfast almost every day um, and also sleep should be another thing that you have to prepare prepare yourself and your body for that you know foreign substance that's about to get inside your body it's challenging because I don't usually do this I didn't have any coffee this morning <laughs> although that's my fuel to you know keep me throughout the day so i didn't have coffee the moment i woke up i had a glass of water a cup of water because all of our glasses are broken so if you guys don't know we are in london ontario it's very easy to book for a pfizer vaccine we opt for the pfizer because it's known it's um although it's kind of similar to the moderna but i kind of like i trust Pfizer better than the Moderna and the other brands so I looked for centers that um, does the Pfizer vaccine I found a town closer to London about 30 minutes away um, and one of their centers are administering the um, Pfizer vaccines so we will be heading there I will show some um, screen records on my screen and how I book my appointment. It's pretty straightforward You just need to fill in the necessary information like what group age target population We were able to book one in St. Thomas our appointment Okay, so here's the thing if you don't have a babysitter and you're bringing your baby with you make sure that you keep if you are going with your partner make sure that you keep the distance of your um, appointment at least an hour apart because i'm not sure how long the vaccines will take and how many people are in queue when we get there so my appointment is so my appointment is so my appointment is it's booked at 2 10 and joe fell is at 3 so we don't have a babysitter so we are going to bring paula with us um and i'm gonna go first at my appointment at 10 i am aiming to 10 and then joe fell at three also we are advised to wear easily accessible for vaccination so i wear this flowy top so we can access my arms for the shots um joe fell is wearing a t-shirt I don't know about Paula, um, her vaccine appointment is coming up on June 10th, so we'll see if the vaccines are ready by then, I'm not really sure. Already 
vaccinated um, and what's good about this center I specifically look for this for centers that administer um, the Pfizer vaccine um, because again as I mentioned earlier I kind of trust Pfizer among the other brands um, and I've also heard that Moderna is like will tie with the Pfizer brand um, and yeah it's basically just the same when you have your other um, shots done like the measles the rubella and etc um, I was not able to film inside because it's not allowed although I can sneak in some videos from when I was sitting down because after the doctor so okay let me do some story time here so first is that they um, I registered at the like there's um, two guys at the door who asked for my last name and then I was not I didn't present my green card and my health card yet just when I enter the like the the, the pods where the vaccines are done so they so I walked about a few meters away from the door and then they asked for my health card to like verify my information and everything and then I um, I came in and sat on the one of the pods they labeled it from A to Z and then um, the doctor was very nice I forgot that. I actually forgot his name but um, the doctor was a he and he first mentioned like he did some pre-covid screening of like am i experiencing um the symptoms of covid19 um, or if anyone in my household has any of the following symptoms and thankfully no joe phil and paula are healthy thankfully so after that he administered the the Pfizer vaccine um, oh also he also did some screening um, like if there's any chance that I'm pregnant um, I'm not um, and if also I'm breastfeeding which is a yes so I told him my story that I'm, pre I'm breastfeeding and that he responded that it's completely safe to be pregnant and breastfeeding at the same time and if you're planning to get your vaccine done so that's a relief although I know some moms some of them are even my friends that are pregnant and breastfeeding at the same time and they got their vaccines done and they're totally okay um, you know sometimes you just have that feeling especially if you haven't experienced it yet on your own so now that I was able to experience it on my own there's actually like a, a sigh of relief that it's finally over um, although I have this thought in mind as to like worry about what will happen tomorrow because he also mentioned that some people would also complain of like a sore arm knock on wood um, um, and also like flu-like symptoms for the first two days after the, administ the administration of the vaccine so that's one thing I worry about not just because of myself I worry that I will experience those but I'm so scared that Paula will also have the same like, vibe I mean like you know you notice when someone is like not feeling well or sick in your home and then you just feel that the vibe is like you know what I mean right and I don't want Paula to experience that although I'm trying to stay healthy I mentioned in my previous clip that I did some um, pre-COVID um, preparation so yeah I was just worried about that Jofel's it's already Jofel's turn um, inside supposedly his appointment is at 3 but there's not a lot of people inside and it's like um, it's pretty it's pretty straightforward so I asked him to get inside and Hopefully he'll be done by then. Paula is still asleep. I'm actually surprised that this, she's not awake yet. So I'll probably sleep for another 15-30 minutes. 
so vaccine is done covid vaccine oh another thing so i have this like sticker which i can put on my shirt right here but i'm not doing that for now so as you can see the time here says 1436 so after the administration of the vaccine i was asked to stay for 15 minutes just for observation and like see if there's any um, effects right after the administration of the vaccine and thankfully there's none so at 1436 i was there 15 minutes before 1436 so i don't know so i was there 15 minutes before 236 um and so i was observed and like asked to sat for 15 minutes um and thankfully there's no other reaction because i mentioned to the doctor earlier that i had an allergic reaction from a cosmetic product before um and he said that it's not something to worry about so um i was asked to sat down and thankfully there's no other side effects or so so that was it if you are from london ontario and you're watching this video this is the right video for you because i'm gonna share um you know tidbits of information about the my um, vaccination journey um so especially if you're a breastfeeding mom i will send you the email for first is the email for your next appointment because you have to receive two doses of the um, vaccine so it will look similar to this with a date and time for your next appointment and then that's it also the next and this is one of the most important document that you will receive on the day of your appointment day is the proof of vaccination so it will look similar to this with like the logo of the ontario ministry of health saying that you are vac vac vaccinated from um for the covid19 pfizer blah 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 um it, it looks similar to this but i didn't find it on my primary folder so be sure to check the junk folder how's the vaccine experience <laughs> You feel good? I don't feel good. Why not? <laughs> There's an ice cream shop in this town and it's their ice cream are so so good. Um, and we're heading there, it's about 10, 15 minutes away. found a little spot here with like um, huge stone so we can sit. Joe fell. Paula, say hi. Mm. <laughs> I got some mocha almond fudge and Joe fell that day. Is that mocha? Rocky Road? Mm. And then Paula got some banana cream pie. Yay! This is the following day after our vaccination appointment. The first dose, first dose of the COVID vaccine. And if you notice that Paula is like doing gibberish. She started doing this about four, five days ago, I would say. And it's like one of the cutest, <laughs> one of the cutest thing ever. Because I, I think like it's like 
one step closer to like talking and I'm so excited we're so excited <laughs> okay so I woke up not feeling myself this morning um, because I really felt the reaction kicking in um, so again I mentioned yesterday that <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned yesterday that one of the um, reaction for the vaccine is sore arm, which I I did experience the sore arm even before I went to bed last night, and then it amplifies around around midnight so far those are the reaction i felt i don't have any chills or a low-grade fever none of those um chills no cough and colds no just the sore arm so that's it please give it some thumbs up share this away to your friends and hit the red subscribe button so you will be notified if we upload any of these kinds of videos again my name is pauline and this is our daughter paula and I hope you will support our next videos. So, bye! See you next bye time! Bye.